power of the Diversity Summit is that there are conversations not only in the hallways and classrooms during the Diversity Summit, but it affects what we talk about and how we talk about it throughout the year. And this ongoing influence of changing the conversation at the university has a visible influence in what we do and who we are. And so this year, we honor and welcome to the University of Denver a woman who has long been interested in gathering and analyzing the facts about our economy, our policies, our government, and even our institutions of higher education. Today, she's being recognized for her recent book, Are We Better Off? Race, Obama, and Public Policy, which provides an African-American perspective on the Obama legacy. It's my pleasure then to introduce you to our 2000 ESSO lecturer and Anvil Freedom recipient, Dr. Julian Malbo. the challenge with our media, and we should use the term the media. I mean, I think that's the worst thing is people say the media is all biased. Well, it's not the media. We have, of course, the legacy media, and even then you have television, radio, you have public and private. You have people who have different amounts of time to devote to a story. So when we use the word the media, we have to acknowledge the shorthand that we're using and that all media is not created equal. The lack of diversity by race, especially, um, and ethnicity. You know, so few Latino, African American, Asian reporters makes a difference in the stories that we tell, or that we hear, and our sensibility. And so when we tell our stories, we have to be very, very conscious of the concept of the diversity and the fact that all women are not white, that African American, Latina, Asian, Native women are too often left out, that the conscious feminist movement, that when they're woke, they do it right, but that power is something that people enjoy. And power is not like peanuts. You don't say pass the power. There's always gonna be a struggle for power, and some of the struggle is gonna involve people who have been marginalized, claiming center, and some will involve people who have been in the center, yielding. So what I would challenge you today, when we talk about the story of us, race and gender, in the age of Trump, or in the Trump economy, what I would challenge you to do is to seek out the stories that you know nothing about. Whether you're a journalist major, a journalist, whether you're an economist, uh, whether you are a political science person, figure out, the use your intellectual curiosity to dig deep and to try to see another perspective. Maybe you won't change your mind, but maybe you will know more. And always knowledge is power.